Now you can see we're just in a bunker and we've got a pretty standard golf shot here. It's uh, for most professional players, this would be considered a very easy shot. But for most of you amateurs out there, I know you guys struggle and have a lot of anxiety in the bunker like this, in a position such as this. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you the easiest way to get the ball out of the bunker using this XE1 wedge with an auto glide technology on the sole. You can see, as I've explained before, how wide this sole is. This is what you need, this width right here, to get the ball propelled out of these bunkers with ease. And so now there's no more need for any anxiety. So I'm gonna show you how to do it with a 65 degree wedge, square setup. So I am not opening the wedge. I am not going to traditionally use what they call use the bounce. I'm going to use the flange because the flange is built in this thing to be able to where you don't have to open up the wedge. So for all you amateurs out there who have a hard time opening up the wedge or understanding how to use the bounce, you don't have to use, you don't have to use that terminology anymore. You don't have to use the bounce. The bounce is used for you just by setting up square with the XE1 wedge. Let me demonstrate. Square stance, weight just slightly over on the left hand side like you would any normal pitch shot. We're gonna hit an inch behind the ball just like you would any normal sand shot. But we're gonna do it with, front, with, with a square club face. It's as easy as that. Let me explain to you amateur golfers out there why it's so hard for you guys to hit a standard bunker shot. So, some, something that it, for, for a lot of us, obviously professionals, who practice this shot every day is very easy. But for all of you who don't get the practice time in that, that, that is required to be very, very good at the shot with a standard wedge, why it's so much easier with the XE1 wedge and why it's so hard with a standard wedge. And it all comes down to this sole right here. This sole is so wide, it, 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 it's able to help propel, propel the ball from any kind of a lie in the bunker to a just a couple of feet very easily because of its width, because of the way it's designed, this rolled sole right here. So it's easy to get the ball, the, 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 the club through the sand much easier than a standard sand wedge. Now a standard sand wedge, basically the widest, some of the widest on the market, you're gonna have maybe, it's almost gonna be half of this. That's about it. And then, so what happens there, when you have that, then you're forced to what's called use the bounce. And I've heard, so I'm sure you guys have heard that terminology a ton. And what they talk about when they say use the bounce is they need you to open it up. Well, not a lot of people understand how to open up a sand wedge, open up your stance, and then cut across your body. That's a shot that requires a lot of practice and a lot of time. You guys, a lot of you guys don't have that practice time and you don't have the time period to dedicate to hitting that shot. So you just want to get it out of the bunker, I understand. So with this shot right here, with this sand wedge right here, the 65 degree XE1 wedge with auto glide sole, you can set up square. You don't even have to dig your feet in that much if you don't want to. Remember how everybody talks about, oh, you got to dig your feet in. You don't have to do that as much. You just set up to the wedge square, get your weight a little bit more on your left hand side, and just let the club, let that sole do the work through the, through the sand, an inch behind the ball and let it go. Pretty simple. I hit that one a little hard and it still came out spun like crazy on the green and I still got 10 feet for par. Not quite as good as the first one, but still I think most of us out there would take that. We've heard about other wedges in the past and the things that they can do and maybe they're just good out of the bunkers or maybe they're just good out of the rough or maybe they're just good from the fairway or maybe they're good from a couple of spots but not one. The XE1 wedge is good from anywhere and most importantly it looks like a wedge. You set it down and it looks fantastic. You can set it right down right in front of you and you go, man, that looks like just any other wedge that I pull off the rack at any shop in America. That's the nice thing about the XE1 wedge. But what's even nicer about the XE1 wedge is the technology in this sole. The technology in this sole is fantastic. It's a little rounded, so you've got a little relief in the back so you're not bouncing the, the club into the ball. It's wide enough to where you get into this, when you get into the sand, it's gonna propel the ball even from a square even from a square stance and a square lie, you don't have to open the club up if you don't want to. If you're afraid of opening the club and maybe digging like you would with a normal wedge sometimes, now you don't have to do that. You can set up square and just make a normal golf swing. A lot of wedges have made claims in the past that have said that you're gonna do this or you're gonna do that. I'm telling you what, this XE1 wedge, as soon as someone put it in my hands, it actually does what they say it does. I've hit shots from all around this place, and I can't believe how good this thing is and how multifaceted and how versatile this wedge is from anywhere around the green. Let me demonstrate one more bunker shot for you. This one from a square stance again. This is just a standard bunker shot. I'm not going to hit this very hard. I'm just going to make a nice little smooth swing an inch behind the ball. Square club face. 
I'm barely swinging that thing and it comes out just beautifully. You just, you don't have to work hard. It's simple. It makes sand play simple.